it's time to answer your Twitter questions here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, everyone wants to know about Greece and the Eurozone and the subsequent effect on U.S. markets. What are your thoughts? Look, the only thing you should be thinking about is the dollar. I, I get very upset when I see people say, come on, Greece is just a very small country. It's 11 million people. It's nothing to do with that. What's happening is these talks depress the euro. And whenever the euro gets depressed, our markets tend to go down. Uh, our com the commodities get, get uh, and oil goes down because it's priced in dollars. Uh, all the commodities seem like they're in free fall, which then makes people feel there could be a recession. I know that sounds absurd, but that's what the talk is going to be in the next four weeks. Why? Because if the Fed is raising rates at the same time that commodities are going down, people are going to be very, very frightened. And that's just what's in the cards if this deal doesn't occur. And the deal is being drawn out by the Germans. It's not by the Greeks. Greeks are there. Greeks want a deal. Uh, they're not going to get one. Not right now. Maybe later. All right, let's get into some individual names here. Nick wants to know if you still believe Marathon Oil has a good chance of being taken over. Well, look, I think that all the oils uh, are in turmoil. And therefore, I think that uh, you have to understand that all numbers are too high for oils. Uh, but at the same time, I think there'll be deals. Uh, I think that Marathon is a company that is... Uh, more likely to be acquired than acquire. How about that? Than, than acquire. Let's leave it that. All right. Steven asks, should I buy Microsoft, Twitter, or Yelp? Or none of the above? You don't need to do any of those right now. I mean, Microsoft, as it goes lower, I think is kind of interesting. Uh, we've been, uh, we sold Twitter, sold some of our Twitter for action alerts. Why? I think monthly act, uh, act, the active users are going to be down, and you'll get a chance to buy that stock pretty much where it opened when it came public. CyberArk. Terry says it seems to be getting hit harder than its peers despite positive earnings. All of the cyber stocks are getting hit, and that's because there hasn't been a serious hack, and because these are the stocks that are coming down. I think a lot of people have to be a little more understanding that when the market goes down, everything goes down. Uh, some biotech can go up, but you know, this is a stock market, and if you don't understand the volatility, that these can go down. It just take profits, and if you don't have profits, understand this is what happens. It's not a good setup. I mean, I don't know how many, I've been saying it's not a good setup now for a month. It's not a good setup. Yeah. Nothing really works in that environment, but I do think that those cyber stocks have a broad future. Uh, someone recommended Palo Alto today, and the stock's down. Understand, that's what happens. The stocks are up huge. People want to take some profits. All right, last question here. It is summertime. Everybody's going to theme parks, things like that. Last, uh, What do you think about Six Flags? Uh, I think Six Flags is very good, and I like Cedar Fair, too. I think that those are naturals. Gasoline's going down. Now, that's my kind of situation. I like them both. <laughs> there you have it. Thank you so much, Jim. And if you have a stock question, make sure to tweet it at Jim Kramer using hashtag KramerQ. That's Jim Kramer, and I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.